Hi, this is part two of the two-part series of Let's Talk About Diarrhea in Your Dog. Once your vet has looked over your dog and assessed the severity of your dog's diarrhea, treatment recommendations will be advised. It could be as straightforward as feeding a more suitable food maintaining the hydration and monitoring. For more suitable food, it can include things like a simple source of protein like um, skinless chicken, so it's not too fatty, scrambled egg, and also a simple source of carbohydrates like white rice, um, pasta, uh, sweet potato, uh, potentially even pumpkin. The last two, you know, sweet potato and pumpkin, they're actually a very good source of fiber that may be included in your dog's diet in general anyway. It depends, so this is a little bit tricky because some dogs, if say they're allergic to chicken, giving chicken would certainly cause a problem. Uh, same for rice, sometimes rice can cause a, make the matters worse. So it is, you know, it is a tricky, tricky. What I'll usually say is that try it first. If it's no better, change to something else, okay? Uh, because you do not want the diet to get worse. Usually if you stick to sort of a scrambled egg and a bit of pasta, that's usually slightly, slightly safer, okay? Um, Please make sure your dog is drinking adequately because your dog is potentially dehydrated by losing a lot of fluid in the diarrhea. A lot of fluid goes out. So you may find that um, he may actually drink more, which is normal because he's losing more fluid to stay hydrated. If your dog was experiencing acute diarrhea accompanied with minor vomiting, then the treatment recommendation will be slightly different. Your vet may advise that you actually completely remove the food for 24 hours, no food, but water is still available, okay? And sometimes what you may do is that you can put a little bit of chicken broth or beef broth so that not only will it rehydrate your dog, it also provides a little bit of nutrients compared to just pure water. After 24 hours and uh, after sort of a no sick, okay, for eight to 12 hours, then you can re uh, begin to reintroduce food to him. Use the white chicken or the, or, or the white fish or you know white rice, pasta, uh, recommendation as we discussed early on um, and offer this in very small amount every couple of hours instead of large meals all at once. It's recommended to continue this diet for at least one to three days, sometimes even a little bit longer until your uh, dog's stools remain normal and at this point in time you're slowly but surely increasing the food as well to make sure that there is more nutrients. So leaving more time before meals so you don't have to feed so often um, and uh, so little, so you're just feeding much bigger meals at shorter, uh, at shorter intervals. It is then you can transition the food, their food back to the regular diet slowly in order to avoid another gastrointestinal upset. It's very, very important. Do not change the food too fast. You have to move slowly for this so that you don't have the whole change of food and just messes up their uh, gut flora inside there to potentially cause diarrhea again. How do we actually prevent, can we prevent diarrhea from happening? So these are just a few little tips on preventing your dog from becoming unwell with diarrhea in the first place. For example, don't suddenly change their diet as unexpected dietary changes can lead to stomach upsets. Not all dogs are like that. Some dogs, they are so used to eating different food at different time, it's not a problem. But if your dog isn't because he's used to eating one particular food and the whole tummy, the whole abdomen, the whole gastrointestinal tract has actually acclimatized or uh, made sort of a convenient what that food is, made familiar what the food is, then you suddenly change the food, then you can upset the whole gut flora and cause diarrhea. Okay, so don't do that. Um, the, also, another thing is just to make sure that your dog does not take scraps off the table or licked off uh, rubbish and you know maybe scavenge when he's going for a walk eat something that's unfamiliar to him and cause a problem with that that is something you should try to train your dog not to eat from the table because when the habit is there it's not easy to refrain from feeding your dog when he sits beside you begging looking with his amazing doleful brown eyes and says give me food and you feel guilty, don't fall for that trick. Remember, you are helping him. 
You've got to be cruel to be kind, be tough. Also be quite careful what you give your dog to chew in general, as it can also cause tummy upset if swallowed or something that doesn't suit him. Okay, And certainly keeping up to date with worming and vaccines can prevent specific conditions uh, from affecting your dog. Even if you do not worm regularly, why not check for worms? There are plenty of places that you can check for worms, either with your vets or you can also do it online. So at least make sure that your dog hasn't got worms, which is a very, very simple or and common reason why they get dying in the first place. I hope this has provided some value for you. I look forward to see your next live event. Be vigilant, be good, be safe. This is Amity. 